Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. A lot has been learned from the Kargil war. At that time, Indian Air Force only combat helicopter the MI-35 could not operate at extremely high altitudes where most of the conflict was concentrated. The MI-35 could not even cross the Bani Hala Pass. Indian Air Force were handicapped and badly needed a helicopter that can even launch assaults at high altitudes. But now, India has an indigenous combat helicopter that can carry out operations even at 19,600 feet high Sal Toro range in Siachen Glacier area. For Indian Army, the LCH is a crucial force multiplier by providing fire support at extremely high altitude because soldiers can carry only limited weapon at those altitudes. With LCH at hand, it will benefit from its 20mm turret gun, 70mm air-to-ground rockets and air-to-air -air and air-to-ground guided missiles. On June 1, 2022, the Army raised its first LCH squadron at Bengaluru. Next year, it will move to Eastern Command once it's complete. Seven LCH units are planned, each having 10 helicopters for combat roles in mountains. Now, this will surely give a big boost to Army's firepower against infantry and armoured columns. As per the latest reports from the Hindu, the Indian Air Force is all set to firmly raise its first unit of indigenous light combat helicopter LCH in Jodhpur in the first week of October, coinciding with the Air Force Day on October 8th. Then LCH will be inducted in the first batch completing one unit. The Indian Air Force is still working out the total number of LCH to be acquired. The Indian Air Force has a requirement of 65 LCH and Army has a requirement of 114 of them. On 30th March this year, the Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by PM Narendra Modi has given approval for procurement of 15 LCH limited series or LSP at a cost of Rs 3,887 crore which also includes the infrastructure cost of Rs 377 crore. The LCH LSP, as we all know, is an indigenously designed, developed and manufactured state-of-art modern combat helicopter containing approximately 45% indigenous content by value, which will progressively increase to more than 55% for series production version. The plan is to make LCH 100% indigenous by next three years. As per the plan, HAL is going to indigenize 30 components this year that is from 2022 to 2023, 63 in the year 2023 to 2024 and 61 in the year 2024 to 2025. Talking about LCH, it is one of the best attack helicopter in its category and a formidable weapon in mountainous warfare with exceptional high attitude performance and stealth characteristic. The helicopter can be used in a variety of missions which includes combat search and rescue, destruction of enemy air defense, counter insurgency operations in jungle urban environments in support of ground forces against slow moving aircraft and remotely piloted aircraft and high attitude bunker busting operations. The helicopter features a narrow fuselage and tandem seating for pilot and the co-pilot. The machine is designed for low detection, reduced visible, oral, radar and infrared signatures and is fitted with crash-worthy landing gear for better survivability. The LCH possesses a relatively narrow fuselage and is equipped with stealth profiling, armor protection and is also equipped to conduct day and night combat operations. According to reports, the protective measures included in the rotorcraft includes a digital camouflage system, an infrared suppressor fitted to the engine exhaust and an exterior covered by the canted flat panels to minimize its radar cross-section. It is furnished with an integrated dynamic system including a hingeless main motor and bearing less tail rotor which works in conjunction with the anti-resonance isolation system to dampen the vibrations. 
LCH is probably the most agile design in the world because of its rotor. LCH has best in class maneuverability, range, high altitude performance, and round the clock all weather combat capability. The helicopter is powered by a pair of Shakti 1H1 engines co developed by HL and French company Turbo Meca, now known as Safran Helicopter Engines. It can attain a maximum speed of 287 km per hour with a range of 580 km and operational ceiling of 6500 meters which is highest among all attack helicopters. During the course of tests, the LCH gained the distinction of being the first attack helicopter to land in Siachen having repeatedly landed at several high altitude helipads, some of which being as high as 13,600 feet to 15,800 feet. The LCH comes up with a glass cockpit, integrated avionics and display system which uses an array of multi-functional displays along with target acquisition and designation system. The helmet mounted side is a prominent feature of TADS which is used for targeting and triggering the rotorcraft's armaments. LCH is protected via an extensive electronic warfare suite provided by the SAB group. This suite comprises various defensive elements including a radar warning receiver, laser warning receiver and a missile approach warning system. During the Russia-Ukraine conflict, we have seen helicopters were very easily targeted by man pads because they lack the electronic warfare capability. RWR, LWR and MAWS will increase the survivability of LCH in the hostile environments by many folds by enabling early warning so that pilot can launch the AVC maneuvers and countermeasures. LCH comes up with a data link for network centric operation facilitating transfer of mission data to other airborne platforms and ground stations. The helicopter is fitted with indigenous avionics radio communication system, radio altimeter and identification of friend and foe. The onboard sensor suite is Albert Compass produced locally by Bharat Electronics Limited. It consists of a CCD camera, a forward looking infrared imaging sensor, a laser range finder and a laser designator to facilitate target acquisition under all weather conditions including nighttime conditions. LCH is equipped with 20mm M61 cannon on Nexter THL-20 turret integrated into a helmet mounted side and 70mm rocket. It has 4 hard points where it can carry 2 rounds of MBDM missile, air-to-air missile or 4 rounds of Helena anti-tank guided missile. Helena being one of the most advanced air launch ATGM has a range of 7 km which is no joke as it puts the helicopter out of the range of man pads. It has monstrous 8 kg warhead and only Hellfire missiles have a similar capability to pierce through any main battle tank in the world. LCH is fitted with select weapon system with inbuilt stealth characteristic. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.